Well, hello, hello, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Sorry, even my nails are dirty. I'm trying to make sure that the cards are right. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what's going to come out here for you, Leo. Let's see. Oh God, you guys see everything. This camera is too close. <laughs> Let's see what's going to come out here for you, Leo. Let's get it. All right, that came out. Let's see if anything else is going to pop out here for you. And then if not, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the cards from the top. All right, let me see. One of the first cards we did see that there is some pleasure with a close friend. So this is like friends with benefits. <laughs> this is what you're wanting. Some of you guys are in this right now. So no strings attached type of situation with some of you, okay? Um, this could be of the same sex as well from what I'm seeing, okay? Somebody may have offered that up to you or you're in that situation. Oh, look at that. That was one of the first cards that came out. But do not be tempted to lower your standards. Isn't that interesting? Some of you guys feel like you're settling. Is that what I'm seeing here? Some of you guys feel like you're settling. I'm being told to pull from that way. Now here, success, successful outcome to your problems. I see a lot of success here for you. Some of you guys are really struggling here with certain things, money, the way your, your, uh, your housing is set up, your family problems. But I see a lot of key talks about opportunities and doors being open for you. Okay. So, you know, let that you know, slide wherever it's supposed to slide. But I think it's amazing that it's a successful outcome to a problem that you may be having right now. And again, I feel like this could have something to do with financially. Here it says, seek out information that will help you. I'll keep going. Something is going to happen by July and unsettled times. This is what I feel like you guys are in right now. Okay, now even though it says plan ahead, I feel like this is something that you guys did not do. Maybe something that caught you off guard. And for some of you, yeah, this could be something that you may experience in the future. It just depends on what timeline you're on. Um, so let's say right now there's some things that are some challenges that you may face in the future. There's going to be solutions for that. Okay, but again, I'm still seeing that there are some relationship issues are not grounded opportunities that have been closed off to you that will be opening up for you. Um, but I still feel worry. I feel like there's some anxiety and anxiousness that I feel that you guys are having right now. There's like an uncertainty energy here that I feel like, I don't know, it's something like that that I'm seeing. I'm also feeling that for some of you, there's this energy of feeling very lonely, detached and um, distance from people. Maybe, you know, maybe it's this craving to want some type of, you know, courtship. Yeah, I feel like you guys could be dating, but I feel like it's this craving to, to really want a connection and you have not. Let me go ahead. I'm going to, before, let me see. I, I feel like I need to pull, keep pulling. Oh, there could be something that could have ended. Or it could be a situation that could end, which calls some unsettling times here for you. Let me see. This is for Leo. I'm only doing this for you because I was not going to do this because this is so hard to shuffle. <laughs> but I'm going to do this for my, my lovely Leos here dealing with a, a relationship with a woman. Here it is. It says, be careful. Do not take any risks. Let me see. And then we have deep friendship. I totally, why am I seeing friends and sex? Friends and sex. Friends and sex here. Someone is being befriending you to get close to you, maybe sexually. So, yeah, I still see some problems that you guys are going to have to overcome. There it is again. Challenges to overcome here. Okay, something could have happened in January. You may have, have met someone in January here. Sorry about that, guys. My phone was ringing. Something is very cold in your life. Maybe you feel, again, isolated, cold. Maybe you feel like no one loves you. All right. Something could have happened in April. This came out. This flew out the other way. You could be dealing with someone named April. Let's go ahead. Let's get some more. We're going to get some more oracles. This is not going to be a long one, but this is something that I see that you guys are going to be experiencing for the next six to seven weeks. If some of you guys are already experiencing this energy, this is going to be for Leo. 
Let's see. I don't know. You could have been dealing with someone. This talks about, this is handcuffs. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's very unruly. Something dealing with the law here. You feel out of control. You feel vulnerable. That's the energy that I feel. Very vulnerable. There is going to be a wish granted. So this is that success. Remember, we saw that key. So persevere. Perseverance is something that's needed here. Because I do see that where some of you guys are going. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of worry. We're going to see what that could possibly be with your tarot. I see a phone conversation. Maybe a phone call that comes in and kind of make you feel worried about something or somebody. All right. This flipped over. You could have been dealing with someone that's a fire sign or someone who has a lot of anger. Okay. Anger issues. And then healing came out here. So I feel like you guys are in the process of healing. You could have been humiliated. You need a mature love. That's what you need. Prosperity is here. There it is. Money is coming, flowing to you. This is going to be the challenge that you guys are going to overcome for some of you as well. So it's not just about relationships, some challenges you may face with relationships, but I feel like overcoming issues dealing with finances here. Okay, money problems that some of you could be having. I don't know why I keep seeing that there's something dealing with uh, being able to defend yourself. Defend yourself. Yeah, look at this. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you are in a funk. You could be sad. I feel like you may have lost someone or someone has caused this depression in your life here, feeling broken hearted. All right. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I feel this uneasiness. You need peace. You need peace. Now, I do feel like there's a relationship coming in here for you, but I feel like something has to end first or something did end. And this is a process of, process of you healing from something that was very um, unsettling. Okay. Maybe you're separated right now from somebody. Let's go ahead. Let's get into your tarot. Let's see what's going to come out here for you. This is going to be for Leo. Let's see. This is whatever is in reverse, reverse, whatever is upright is upright. I'm just going to go ahead and just pull on the camera so you guys can see. This is going to be for Leo. This is for Leo. Thank you. Yeah, again, I stopped here with the five of five of cups. Oops, sorry. Five of cups. Feel it sad. What in the world is going on? Let's see. Let's see. You guys can see me pull. Knight of Cups in reverse. Heartbreaker. It is somebody broke your heart. You're experiencing a lot of disappointment. I mean, come on now. That's just too many cards that's coming out saying the same thing. Yeah, look at this. Some of you guys feel abandoned. There's been like some upheaval or something you're going to experience that is going to be... Um, Oh, I don't know. I feel like there's fear over money. I feel here too, anxiety over your finances, needing to release anxiety, needing to release the energy of heartbreak. There's a, a, a mother figure or some type of woman some, you know, here, because this came out, this could have something to do with a female or divine feminine. Ten of swords. Needing to move on from something. Re you're regenerating. Yeah, a lot of you guys are. And in the future, a lot of you guys will need to because of this ten, of, because of this tower. If you haven't experienced this something, a sudden upheaval, yeah, there it is, new moon and upright. I love it. You're manifesting your destiny. Do not give up, especially when you guys feel very loaded down, weighed down. There's going to be a change in direction here. There's a new cycle. There's a need to to tell you not to give up. Don't give up. Don't give up, Leo. Again, I still feel that energy. Some of you guys, I mean, when I'm telling you, some of you guys are really feeling feeling like you're going through some some stuff right now. Let's get one more. 
Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. It's in reverse, but I do feel like there's a new love coming in here. They're not telling you right now. But this is about self-love. You guys have you guys have done some some well, you guys have done some stuff that you wouldn't normally do for somebody. And now this is going to be really about you tuning into your intuitions. I do feel like you're kind of closed off. Maybe you don't want love right now. You do want love, but you don't want love. You don't want to offer yourself to anyone. That's part of that Ten of Swords regenerating. You're learning to get over something you've already experienced. There is going to be a new love coming in here, but I feel like you got to take care of yourself first. There's been a lot of stuff that you've been dealing with. And baby, yeah, it has put you at a disadvantage. Okay, very much so. But this is what I have for you. This is a... Uh, your sneak peek for the upcoming week. And of course, like I said before, this is energy that you're going to be experiencing throughout the next seven to eight weeks, I feel. All right, uh, Leo, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you're interested in emergency reading, all the information is inside the description box. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.